Okay. Oh, I just I was proven wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, Cloudy. He, I mean, he did push the meta out of it is here and in, in, in Mexico right now. He is one of the most emblematic representative. Rep rep I mean, how do you say that? one of the most emblematic ATs around. But right now, we're actually seeing the work from Joker. And it's yeah, actually I'm, working really nice for him. I, I, I made a fool. I made a fool out of my time. And very soon, he can just do the cloudy ages. How could it be so foolish? But the world we're gonna go Pokemon Stadium. Brian, uh, Pokemon Trainers, Brian's old stage. And right now, he's having a really difficult time against, uh, against Joker. 116. Well, second. Yeah, it's second. Yeah, perhaps he well, he already changed to Iverson, but I don't know, maybe Charizard may, may be the choice because he's on a, on a really high number and the Onichan is about to come out, well, he just needs to pop out, and there it goes to him, Howard Cycle. Yeah, I can actually see why uh, Brian C decided to pick up uh, uh, Ivysaur instead of Charizard, because he can actually take most out of uh, Joker's oh. meter with an air, and with the spam with the Razor Leaf, but he not, it's not going to be enough, and it's going to be a little bit stuck right now with only Cloudy taking only 78% and trying to work out his way to make the more out of this stuff as he can right now, and maybe trying to look for another Joker. Joker, another Senna, I'm sorry. Yeah, right now, uh, Cloudy having a complete defense, uh, defense dominance of this. Of this game, he just like making a really good. He's, he's having a really good time against uh, the against Brian C right now. Not saying that he's a crazy match for him. However, he's just completely dominating the match right now. Yeah, I can totally understand what you're what you're saying, uh, my man. But yeah, it's, it is actually really hard for Brian C to approach. It is not that. Um, he's not playing the match correctly. It is more that Cloudy just pressures you like really, really hard and makes you actually think twice about your decision. And he, I, I think you might actually have waited for that switch. If that was the case, then Cloudy is on a 1000 IQ place right now. Yeah, he knows he's on the losing side of the dragon and he knows he, he has everything to lose hold. So he doesn't want to drop a single game. He, I believe he wants to... He, right now, well, right now he's having the momentum. He's maintaining the momentum in his favor. Because, well, he's on his, his first stock still. He's made the uh, first stock because he already has the big brother, the Onijon. Uh, the Arsene, that's gonna make him a huge favor against this matchup. Really nice down smash coming from... I think that was a down smash coming from... Where yeah. but it was not enough because it sent him to the other side of the stage. Yeah, well, it was actually from the other side of the stage. Maybe an up smash could have hit, hit him and actually take out that stock. And right now, Brian C was actually trying to avoid as much as possible that Arsene, and he manages to close out Cloudy's stock with that back throw at 140, if I recall correctly. Right now, he's trying to make the most damage with his last stock. He's working with a, a last stock deficit. Right now, he needs to be really careful with how he approaches it, um, especially right now that Big Brother Arsene is coming back to play. I didn't know that Squirrel had a back, that he back in the free throw and oh that was a fumble. That was a complete that was a complete fumble, however he still has a 105% advantage. So he still has the well the like Banga la the Dancia. The advantage on this on this match and right now he just I think he's just went for the Arsene to track up. But never mind the forward error to the down smash. Really nice move coming from Cloudy. Nice conversion, and it was actually a really nice reaction coming out from Cloudy. Just being able to tell that your fair is actually going to make, going to force a tech situation, and responded immediately with a down smash, which is a really nice move from Cloudy's part. And we're going to be seeing again the Joker versus the Pokemon Trainer, I think. And let's see which stage is going to be one that this battle takes place. Uh, 
enemy small, small battlefield, and small battlefield, and real skill or and how is still holding to the Joker. I believe he's rather comfortable with all the matches that have been having with the Joker, and he's gonna stick to it. Maybe he's gonna pick the age when he's more comfortable with them, but right now. Just having a really not that much of an explosive start. However, he has complete dominance of neutral. Don't, he's not letting Brian C get back to the stage on a safely on a safely manner. So right now, Bali is having uh well a little bit of trouble right now, but I mean Brian C has that lucky number, never mind, he just lost it. And Arsene just cannot. Yeah, he needs to be really careful and oh. the Idea. Not going to be enough to close out the talk but the down tilt. Is it going to be enough? Ooh, I might have overextended with that interaction over there. I actually think the downer might have been the better option to close out our sand stock because he, um, I mean, it's actually kind of funny that he has the better moves but he has the worst recovery. But who has the better moves right now is Cloud with that is nice conversion. Drag down that. Yeah, really nice use of this of us right now. I mean, yeah, he's on uh, the red numbers. He maybe lose uh, the stock right now. But this is not enough. And there goes the back from from Squirrel. And we got a big position. Yeah, working with evens, with even stocks right now, only 30% out for Brian C. Right now, taking, taking the most damage that he can. Whoa, he was actually trying to give in that situation. That might have not been it, because I don't think Cloudy actually used uh, his jump in that situation. But yeah, Ivys are coming to play again, just waiting for the R set to come back. And it's a nice recovery from Cloudy trying to avoid that interaction yeah. and this is a lot of spaghetti happening up right now and is it going to be enough oh my god it is it that was, it was like 80 yeah 82 percent i got a technical question but we're not i'm gonna go to the question after the after the match game but right now party is just wowing against ryan cp on the last about 49 percent he has everything to lose, but right now Pavi is not letting the momentum go. He's just going again, going downtown against Pavi. 75 percent. We got even percentages. However, a whole stock of difference right now. Really nice forward smash coming from uh, Brian C. Conditioning, uh, Cloudy, and that's gonna be it. He does not have a sense. He prefers to lose the stock right now to so not save time to keep up the momentum. But right now, 97 percent. Brian C. is getting close to base numbers. But up throw coming. Uh, really nice offer. 35 percent. Our sense is 25 percent up coming from forward. Uh, right now and well Ryan C is gonna be on a little bit of trouble on a few seconds. Yeah being in that Yay! position I was about to say that being in that platform is actually a quite tight spot to be in especially if you're at that high percentage as Ivysaur was because Cloudy can make the most out of that conversion and he actually he managed to close out that stock in a fashion way with those with that drag down upper to the up smash i, I got a, i got a question for you Sid, uh and also for the chat if you are able to answer i genuinely do not know how this works what let's say that you have a uh, 50 percent damage and you are hit by a forward smash from x character no yeah. what is a fight for the damage or the knockback uh, I think the, the knockback is applied first and then you get the damage. I'm not quite really sure about that, that is a nice question. Question. So if anybody in the chat knows the right answer, because right now I'm just guessing. I remember that the, that the knockback is actually applied first and then the damage. I might be incorrect. Uh, but yeah, if someone in the chat knows the answer to that question, we will really appreciate if you could answer that. But right now, we're seeing that Joker is actually answering all of Ryan's yeah, no, no, questions. He's right. he is not dead. That was a really nice recovery coming up from Brian C's part. Yeah, Brian C just making everything on his mouth to come back. He does not look 
is he does not lose his first stock in the first minute of the match because he has everything to lose. He needs to be. He needs to make these reverse his reverse set coming from the three to reach. But right now he's just probably having the game of the game. One one hundred forty-nine percent against sixty-four percent really nice counter coming from Kali and the first stock from Brian C possible last game on uh TNA. Uh, right now he's working with his possible last two tournament stocks. Right now he and Cloudy is making the out of that Arsene. He's trying to give him, he tried to spike him. That is nicely. Cloudy definitely, I mean, like I said before, Cloudy just woke up today and he chose violence to play with Joker right now with Arsene making the most out of that interaction. Working with a 56% over Brian C. And I mean, Cloudy has been able to get all, always or sometimes maybe two, two or cents per stun. And it's actually quite nice for him. I really like how Cloudy is in a nice outfit coming from Brian C. But like I, was, like I was about to say, I really like how Cloudy just went all around uh, Brian C. Trainer. I mean, he's not coming just from the from forward. He's coming from upper. He's coming from the from upstairs. He's coming from uh, from back uh, from the back of his shield. I mean, you all know what I mean. Uh, he's just yeah, like, yeah. taking a bad but really nice player coming from Brian C. Even in a little bit the match, however, Ali still hasn't lost his momentum. He still knows what he needs in order to eliminate Brian C. Really nice playing power coming from uh, Brian C. Really nice uh, down throw, still racking up the damage. However, it seems that Jokin. Oh, I thought he was dead over there. Now, if someone can make it out, out of an air dodge out of the stage, it is. Definitely Joker. If he was with our stand at that moment, he might not I have not been able to do that, I think. I'm sorry. But that counter, once again, coming in clutch in that interaction and being the MVP to close out. Brian is stuck right now. Cloudy has, he still has our sand and he's Ooh. trying to make the most of that interaction in that way. A really dangerous spot. He was looking to make a single to death, a little nice piece. Technically, he's not another nice. I just got confused. Never mind. This is that second. Really nice upbeat coming from Brandy. Uh, he was not enough. However, he still probably uh, just on the direct numbers and he has his Arsene bar almost full. If he loses this bar, uh, he's stuck with, the, with Arsene. He's gonna lose a lot of momentum, a lot of damage, and he will be able to do it with all this stuff. However, uh, he still able to do it right now. Arsene coming, bro, coming. Whoa. Oh. Once again. Yeah, it actually backfired him, but damn, closing it out with an F mash in all of the Squiddle's face, and Cloudy is going to be moving up in the loser's bracket. I'm just constantly cursing this, shutting it out the heck of it. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm the cursor, I'm the caster, I'm the caster, the caster cursor. That can yeah, be you're, you're definitely 